Good morning, everyone. Welcome to BISP Solutions. This is Farha Alam. And today in this session, we are going to take a look on the compound layout feature in the OTBI analysis. So what is compound layout? Basically, a compound layout is a view that contains one or more of the other views created for the single analysis. So here we are going to use a view selector feature to switch between one layout and the other. In the last video, we looked at how to use view selector option to switch between different views, if you remember. In the same layout, we had basically uh, in our last video, we had created four different views. One was a bar graph, second was tabular view, third was a pie chart and fourth was bar graph. And we looked how to switch between the tabular view and graphical view and vice versa. So if you have not watched, if you have not checked out that video, so I recommend you to check out that one first so that you will get better understanding about this one. All right, so let's get started. Let's move on to the instance. So here I am in the BI catalog. And what we have to do, we have to we have to create one simple analysis in order to implement or see this compound layout feature for the OTBI analysis. And here I have uh, one uh, existing analysis, which is invoice detail. So I am going to uh, before I am going to show uh, create this uh, analysis compound layout i am going i want to show you how this uh, compound layout will look like so this is basically the compound layout and here uh, we have uh, different compound layouts and i had created uh, the view selector option over here so that uh, we can switch between uh, these layouts with the help of this view selector so by default uh, here we can see the summary view of our analysis and this summary view is, uh, is containing two views. For, uh, one is the tabular view and other one is the bar graph. And if we switch to the detailed view, then it will going to display the tabular view with detailed information like uh, invoice number, description, date, party name and the invoice amount. This is the detailed description and it is represented in the tabular view. And this one is the summary view. And this one we are going to create over here. So here I am in the BI catalog and here I have one existing analysis, which is this one invoice detail. So I am going to uh, open this analysis in the edit mode so that we'll be able to see how do we implement this compound layout feature in our analysis, right? So what we have to do over here, this is our analysis and this is our compound layout. This one is our compound layout and here, uh, here on the up top option here, we have all the compound uh, layout uh, options available. Like we have, uh, uh, we can create a new compound layout. We can duplicate. Uh, the compound layout next we can delete the compound layout and we can rename the compound layout so this time what i am doing over here i am duplicating uh, the compound layout so click on this one so here we have duplicated this compound layout and what i am doing over here i am going to rename this uh, compound layout so i am just going to click on this rename compound layout and uh, here i am going to provide uh, the name like detailed view and click on ok go back to the compound layout and again come back to the detailed view 
and next to what uh, i will do over here uh, i am going to create one another compound layout so i have to click on this create compound layout and here uh, we had created one new compound layout as there is a no view displaying over here so we have to include the view in it so in order to include the view in the analysis we have to click on this new view option and i am going to select this one table view and in this uh, compound layout i am going to edit this one so i have to click on this edit view option as uh, this will be uh, this will going to be our summary analysis so i am going to include uh, an, under the summary analysis only the uh, few information about this uh, invoice detail like uh, 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 supplier name or party name and the invoice amount these are the information which i am going to include in my summary analysis so i am uh, excluding all the remaining uh, columns like invoice number invoice description invoice date i have excluded all these columns uh, in this sum from this summary analysis after uh, excluding all these i am click i am going to click on this done option and here uh, what i will do i will uh, going to rename this one also so this will be going to our summary analysis so provide the name over here some review and click on ok and go back to the detail view come back to the summary view then we will be able to see the changes which we have made in the name with respect to the name for the layout and next what i will do over here i am going to include one another view in this summary analysis so i have to click on this new view option and i am going to in uh, include the graphical view and uh, which uh, graphical view i want to include in it like uh, i am going to include uh, the vertical bar graph and whenever we include any graphical view in our analysis we can uh, Uh, see this kind of error so we don't need to worry about it we have to go back to the uh, detail view and again come back to the summary view and here in the views option we can see that our graph has been uh, included in the analysis so click on this one or select or highlight this one which is the graph view and click on this edit view option and here i am uh, i am not implementing any kind of graph prompts over here so i am going to exclude the graph prompts from this uh, summary analysis and i want to keep it uh, a simple simple one so i am going to include the invoice amount and the supplier name information in the summary analysis or in my bar graph and then uh, uh, what next i have to do i have to sell, uh, uh, apply or implement some uh, uh, effects in my graph so here i am going to select uh, this one gradient and i am going to select the 3d option and this is about the effects or editing in the graph after doing all these things click on done go back to the summary analysis and here in the summary analysis we have two views one is the tabular view and other one is graphical view or more specifically a vertical bar graph right so i am going to move this up to the left of the table or to the left of the tabular view and 
what next i have to do i have to come back to this compound layout and from this compound layout i am going to remove all the views from here i am going to remove all the views from this one and what next i have to do i have to click on this new uh, select view option as i have told you that uh, for switching between the layouts I, uh, we are going to use the view selector in the beginning of this session i have told you we will going to uh, we will going to use the view selector in order to switch between the layout so what i have to do i have to click on this new view option and under this new view option we have one other option which is other views and under this other view i am going to select the view selector and after selecting this one i am going to edit this view option so that we will be able to add the views in this one here we have to uh, here we can provide the caption so it is not necessary as you can see that it is not a mandatory or required field but it is uh, uh, a good idea to provide uh, some caption over here so i am going to provide a select view so that uh, the user will be able to understand that here we uh, here we have to select the view which view we want to see for our analysis either we want to see the detailed view or the summary view or we want to see the tabular view or some graphical view which whatever view we want to display so i am going to include these views in the analysis like a detailed view and the summary view and i am going to move up this summary analysis so what will happen whenever we open this analysis so by default summary view we will be able to see the summary view and uh, the, this summary view is basically contain the two views one is the tabular view and the other one is the graphical view or the bar graph uh so after doing all these things click on done option and then save this one click on the save option and i am going to click on save as option and this time i am going to provide the name invoice detail with compound layout so that um, by name we can understand that uh, we have implemented the compound layout in this invoice detail click on okay and again i have to click on save to option save option and after doing all i have to go back to the catalog option and search for this analysis which we have just created which is this one invoice detail with compound layout this is the one which we have created just now open this one and here as i have told you that whenever we open this analysis by default we will be able to see the sum uh, summary view first because uh, we have selected the summary view and if we switch to the detailed view then we have to click on this detailed view then we will be able to see the detailed description of this invoice detail like it contains invoice number description date supplier name or party name invoice amount this is the detailed description of this uh, or detailed view of this invoice detail analysis and this is the summary view if, if uh, some user want to see the summary view then they can go with summary view and if we if uh, some wants to see the detail view then they can go with detail view so this is about the compound layout so now the question comes what is the difference between this one and the last one so the difference between this one and the last video which i had created was in the last video there was one compound layout and we were switching between the views that were part of that layout and we were we were not switching between the layouts we were switching between the views with uh, which comes within a single layout so this is how we can use multiple compound layouts in our analysis and switch between them between different layouts and this is all about uh, the compound layout and our today's session also if you have any question regarding this 
please feel free to ask i hope you like this one thank you everyone for watching